Okay, everybody, Seattle 206723 here with the whiskey review by Denston's 20 year old Oloroso Limited uh, release. Um, this is the oldest uh, whiskey currently that's offered by Denston's, and there's 8,400 bottles of this particular uh, Oloroso release. It is bottled at a whopping 55.5% ABV. It's 750 milliliters here in the U.S. That's, it, that's 75 centiliters for all you people in the U.K. Um, since it's a limited release, which it says right here, limited edition, right there on that uh, little guy there, and I'll add a picture at the end of this. And there's only 8,400 bottles, and it's matured in Oloroso Sherry uh, cast. Uh, I believe it's European. And I've spent a little bit of time tasting this one just to kind of get the notes and stuff, and I had to restart this video. So we've already got the coaster out. We've already got the um, glass with a little bit poured in here. And I've got the box sitting there for anyone to... Who wants to take a look at that um we're gonna go through the nose the taste and we're gonna go through the um finish on it since it's at 55.5 percent apv i will do some smelling notes before and after i have the water then do the tasting i've had enough time to play with this to know that that 55.5 is a beast and um I don't want it to numb out my tasting uh, my tasting buds, so I'm gonna bring it down to about forty about forty eight um, APV myself. Uh, so nosing. I get the sherry. I get uh, a little bit of pear, kind of a ripe pear, definitely apple, a little bit of fruit, you know, it's kind of like a fruity notes. And I get the uh, leather. The leather on here is definitely here. Now, I'm not sure if that's from the cask or did they use an older whiskey or anything in there, but it's definitely there. Um, I use Fiji's water to add a little bit, and I just use the cap. Um, at the pour a little bit there in the cap. I've been doing this from day one, so I pretty much got it down to a science. I just add a couple of drops, because it's an older sherry whiskey. It's an old school, I believe an older sherry whiskey, so... You don't want to drown it out. So give her a little stroll around the glass. Okay, the sherry's more vibrant. The leather is smoother. It's fruity. And I'm getting a hint, a slight hint of mint. for some odd reason. Well, on the palate. Wow. That punch from the APV. I think I got that around about 50. Um, you get the leather. We're getting the chocolate. Fruity Pebbles is the best way. If you ever tried Fruity Pebbles, 
you get a hint of that toward the mid palate where the uh, fruits and dark fruits and stuff start to develop. And it reminds me of Fruity Pebbles. And then it goes into a cocoa, a little bit of cocoa there. And uh, it's still finishing. Drop there. A little bit more water. Finish that out. That was around 50. And it kind of hit the taste buds. Um, at 55.8 AV, you got to kind of make sure that, that, you know, you bring it down a little bit. Because I can still get the cocoa, I can still get the, the fruit, I can still get the leather. But I was trying to figure out that mint. And it's got a nice warm, a uh, little bit of spice finish. But bring down that APV on it. Let's try this again. That was right. Just that little bit more smidgen of water. It still got your alcohol punch. It's got your 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 sherry, your fruity pebbles, like toward the mid palate where you're getting those dark uh, fruit, and it reminds me of fruity pebbles. Then it kind of let you let it sit, and then the chocolate comes in, the leather, the uh, mouth is watering, has a good mouth feel to it, um, and it's still finishing with the nice spice. This is an excellent whiskey. Um, it's definitely something that I would say is uh, is is worth. Uh, you know, look, uh, getting, um, it's limited. There aren't that many of them. Um, there is two more where I'm at, um, within my location, within my area. Um, I had to look, make a little drive to get it, but, um, you know, so I would say I spent $139 for this bottle. $139. Is it, is it worth it? Um, if you like the old school maturation, you like the, uh, potential taste. If you like the, you know, the old leather, the sherry, or the rosa, where you're getting a little bit of, uh, chocolate, you're getting the fruit, you know, the, the, the kind of fruity pebble taste, and you're getting that spicy, warm finish. Um, I'd say... I'd say at $139 at 55.0 AV, it's worth it. At 55.5 AV, it's definitely worth it because it's going to last you a lot longer, um, without a doubt. So it's a good buy. It's a fair price for what we I paid for it. Um, I've heard that they're selling higher at other places. But like I said, we have two within our area, um, you know. And I might go pick up an, an, another bottle of it. The problem is, as you can see, my box is a little dented up here on the uh, top side there. Um, and they had to go back there and get that that box. Um, they said that the other box was torn. The other two boxes had torn, so they just kind of got them sitting there in halves. But they do have the bottles, and it's got the nice seal on the top of it. So I don't know if anybody's interested in that. That's a collector, but if you're a consumer and you know, you're in my area, get in contact with me. And I'll, I'll let you know where it's at. This is Seattle Tool 6723, and I'm out.